turns to shit, okay? It's true. I'm Thor. Welcome to the Dragon Ship. Today, man, I want to deliver a message to you on the Dragon Ship Mastermind about withholding sex, but withholding sex as a man. That means not giving in to a woman's demands for sex. <laughs> yes, let me explain a circumstance that was brought to me and was discussed as part of a performance coaching issue with a long-term relationship. Let's reframe it. If you're a man and you're withholding sex as punishment in a, a long-term relationship, this is a failing strategy. And let me explain why this is such a bad idea. Now, I've said this many times before, and it's been taken out of context and used in that if a woman is interested in me and wants sex, that I can deny it. And that's a good thing. It's a, it's a, it's a righteous strategy. Look. If you're dating and you're not interested in a woman that's interested in you, don't have sex with her. It's not a problem. The context I was speaking about was long-term relationships. Being in a long-term relationships is can be very beneficial to a man and a woman. We're better together than we are apart. It's been said many, many times. Look, things get old, people get complacent, and we're likely to you know, get lazy when it comes to our attraction and our, uh, we'll take our partner for granted. And when that happens, sometimes, uh, the bedroom wanes, sex gets stale and it doesn't have to, but I'll just use the example that I was using with some of my clients that were having issues in the bedroom in long-term relationships. And I was speaking in context of dread game. When you're in a relationship and the bedroom goes cold and you're not getting sex, yet you're making the attempts, honey, I want to have sex. You're so beautiful. Now's the time. And you get the response of, I'm really not in the mood. I have a headache. Not tonight, dear. I have to get up early and work. You start to do a little bit of chore play so that she has more time so that you could have sex. And it's not working. And then lo and behold, a week or two passes. She may be in her ovulatory phase and she says, honey, now is time. Now is the time. And you decide, well, you know what? That dirty, rotten scoundrel didn't give me sex when I wanted. I'm going to teach her a lesson. Nope, I'm not in the mood, honey. I'm going to sleep on the couch tonight. Thank you very much. That's a bad strategy, gentlemen. Women and men view sex very differently. Yes, it creates good feelings and closeness amongst most sexes, but women really don't go without sex. They have sex on demand. They're able to get sex whenever they choose to. They tie emotion to it, and they have a lot of chemistry in their brain that works this way. It creates bonding chemicals. It creates a sense of closeness. It creates a lot of feelings, and those feelings are very, very in line with how a woman thinks and feels and, and cherishes a relationship. Even when she's not all about the relationship, if she's interested in having the sex, definitely there's an emotional component there. As a man, we can easily, in many cases, segment that emotion from our sex. Now, to use the denial of sex for a woman as a punishment to her to teach her a lesson is just a very, very bad scarcity mindset thinking because if she is interested in you and you deny her, she can get it anywhere. You're actually pushing her away. Whereas if she's interested in sex, here's what your strategy should be. If you're coming back from a dead or a slow bedroom and she's interested in having sex and you don't feel like it, man, put yourself into that mode. You just have basically a sport fuck or a hate fuck. And you give it to her like she's never had it before. Why would you do this? Well, you do this for a couple of reasons. Number one, you're in a long-term relationship with her. Sex is the glue that holds that relationship together. You want to spike her emotions. You want to spike the chemistry in her brain that increases oxytocin, dopamine, and endorphins that will cause her to want to be close. Why would you do this? 
because you would want to have this chemistry high so you can work through some of the issues you have with a positive mindset. If she's all angry with you and you try to work out something, it doesn't go very far because she's angry and contemptuous with you. But if you give her that wild orgasm and she's feeling pretty good and that whole build up to it, you could subtly put her in the mood for afterwards to actually, you know, get close, get to the root of the problem. Why is she feeling so bad? More than likely is that you have become less attractive to her. It is possible. She may be overworking. But my whole point is, is when you deny a long-term relationship, the woman's side, when she wants sex and you deny the sex, you're acting like a woman. Don't act like a woman. Men don't do that. Take her. Make her yours if she's interested. Don't ever stop trying because sex is the glue that holds the relationship together and it smooths over so much and glues all of the strong pieces and elements of the relationship together so that it's very strong when hardships arise or when arguments come up or more importantly, when outside influences such as a new job at work, a new workplace where she's exposed to new male interests sorry but she's exposed she's at work her emotion and her monkey brain work these are the things that you have to be prepared for and the way you get through them is to be the most attractive male in her immediate vicinity and give her the best sex ever so i know this is a little bit long-winded but if you're in that position and you think that by denying her her desires as sex is going to teach her a lesson or put her back in line that's not how you do it now in the dating community, there's something called ice. When a woman puts you off or doesn't give you sex and you're putting her ice, you're ghosting her. Guys, that's not a long-term relationship. It's a whole different animal. You know, there's all kinds of social and sexual pressures going on. And there's built-in competition anxiety amongst the women and the people you're dating. That's not what we're talking about. So it's, it's diff two different things. So when we're talking about a long-term relationship, you want to be on board. If she expresses any interest and you're coming back from a dead bedroom, you get at it. Do your part. Anyway, that's all I have for the dragon ship this week, guys. Till next time, skull.